five ways to make money as a developer without getting a job. What's up guys, Clint here. Welcome to my channel, Code Commerce. And look, it can be hard to get your first job as a developer, especially if you don't have a college degree or you, know, you didn't go to some fancy boot camp to back up your, your knowledge or your skill set. You haven't established yourself yet as a developer or with an employer. And you know, you can't, there's no way to prove that you can actually perform the task required as a developer. Or maybe you just like the idea of being your own boss and you know not having to work a typical nine to five. So how do you actually make money as a developer without working a nine to five job? Here are five options. So number one, I'm gonna say freelancing on Fiverr or Upwork. Freelancing is a great way to earn extra cash or income, you know, when you're just starting out. And one of the good things about freelancing on these platforms is you can only bid on or accept jobs that you know you believe are in your skill set or actually are of interest to you the barrier of entry is typically going to be a lot lower than what would be required to go work as a full-time software developer. But I, you know, I'm not saying that you can be absolutely clueless here, but generally speaking, if you have a good understanding of, you know, web development, at least the basics such as HTML and CSS, you can start freelancing. This is something I did when I was first starting out. And let me give you some advice here. If you are going to do freelancing on any of these platforms, you know, target a specific niche or area of web development. For me personally, I targeted e-commerce. I did freelancing work on Shopify, BigCommerce, and WordPress. One thing I highly recommend here is, you know, just be upfront with your terms. Make sure you and your client have a clear understanding of the job details and your fees that you're charging. So, you know, if you finish your project and your client wants to add extra pages, extra functionality, this can cause a lot of wasted time and you know, ultimately wasted money. So just make sure you and your client both have a clear understanding of this. So that way there's no misunderstandings or surprises at the end. And also a bonus tip here. So listen up because this is huge. Charge by the project, do not charge by the hour. Let me explain. If you charge by the hour, your client may tend to actually devalue your skill set. Thus, this will result in ultimately you earning less money. For example, depending on the project specifications or the customer request, you may be able to build out, you know, a basic store on Shopify or WordPress, for example, in about four to five hours. Also, this is, you know, of course, going to depend on the complexity of the site, you know, how many products they have, if you're doing e-commerce and your skill level in design, and of course, have, you know, if you have any experience working on these platforms, which once you have experience, you can actually navigate around pretty quickly and throw things together, you know, pretty fast. If you communicate to your client, hey, I charge $500 for a branded Shopify store website, this will, you know, automatically be giving yourself more value and increase the amount of money you can ultimately earn. So don't devalue yourself by charging by the hour. The second way to make money as a web developer without working a nine to five job would be to create a website for a local business or a friend. This is huge. Find a business, you know, that doesn't have a website or maybe they have a shitty look and website that's outdated, maybe it lacks functionality. This literally just happened to me the other day, um, you know, between working full time and creating content for you guys, I don't really have the time to do this, but this is a prime example. I have a guy that owns a mobile car detailing website. He's like a high end car detailer. And you know, he comes to your work, you know, you're, you're, maybe you're at the gym, your house, wherever you are, he comes to where you, your location and he details your ride. And like I said, he's a high end detailer. He does lots of really nice cars, but he doesn't have a website and he only accepts cash. It's hard to pay him. It's a pain to book with him. All he has is an Instagram and you know, he has his phone number listed on his bio for people to contact him. If I was just starting out trying to get a little experience, make a little bit of cash, I'd go to him and be like, Hey, look, dude, I can build you a website for your car detailing business. You know, it'll have functionality that lets people book appointments directly into your calendar based on your, you know, specified availability. And they'll be able to pay you online by accepting credit cards. Think of how much time it would save this guy. He wouldn't have to be, you know, on his phone all day long texting and, you know, scheduling appointments. Customers could just go to his website and, you know, find an availability and schedule an appointment for him to come wash their car and they could pay with a credit card. Let them know that you will charge them $500 to create this website for them. And then you will charge, you know, maybe 30 to $50 a month to manage the website. He would jump on that in a heartbeat. And, you know, imagine the time he would save. You would be bringing him so much value. Ultimately, he could be able to, you know, detail more cars and bring in more revenue without having to be on his phone all day, you know, scheduling and trying to get payments. You could do this completely on WordPress you know, they already have templates and plugins built in to streamline this. And it could be accomplished with probably solely HTML and CSS, you know, you probably wouldn't even have to use any JavaScript for that. That's one way where you could make money as a, you know, brand new web developer, assuming you know HTML and CSS, you know, brand new developer without knowing JavaScript, you know, and you just work with a local business like that. The third way to make money as a web developer without working a nine to five job would be to become a 
content creator. This could be in the form of a blog style website, a YouTube channel, or any other you know type of social media platform. Typically speaking, though, you know, content creation doesn't pay overnight, you know, meaning that you'll have to likely put in quite a bit of work before you actually start reaping the benefits. But on a positive note, this will keep, you know, coding fresh in your mind. And, you know, by immersing yourself in the industry, you're going to continue to learn and grow your skills as a developer. My advice is to just niche down in whatever you choose. So, you know, casting a net too broad will likely result in, you know, slower growth, at least at first. Immersion is the best way to learn a new skill, in my opinion, in any field, not just programming, and, you know, and creating content is a great way to surround yourself in the programming space. A fourth way to make money as a developer without working a nine to five job would be to create website templates or themes. And again, this is another situation where niching down could really help you. Instead of just niching down and building a, you know, a basic website template, build a high converting e-commerce store on Shopify. Find a course on Udemy for how Liquid works. No, not actually Liquid Solution. Liquid is the language, it's a templating language that Shopify uses and actually created. Assuming you're already learning HTML and CSS, you know, you have a basic understanding of how the templating language works that we just talked about, especially if you have an eye for design, you know, you could create custom Shopify stores, you know, templates and sell them. You could ideally do this, you know, for any CMS, but you know, niching down into e-commerce and then again, niching down to Shopify, big commerce or WordPress, this will ultimately create more value for yourself and allow you to charge a higher rate. The fifth way to make money as a developer without working a nine to five job is going to be become a tutor in the web development space or any type of software development space on a platform such as Wiseant. This is an excellent way to not only earn a little bit extra cash, but also slingshot your learning. I've used Wiseant numerous times, you know, not even just for programming, but a bunch of different categories. And, you know, it's a good way to learn something new and or teach somebody new if you already have that skill. And again, don't be discouraged if you're just starting out, you know, you don't have to be a senior level developer or a JavaScript master in order to teach somebody HTML and CSS, you know, somebody who's brand new, brand, brand new to coding, if you already know HTML and CSS, you know, you just have to know a little bit more than that person. So like I said, if you already know HTML and CSS and they're brand new, just starting out, you could teach them HTML and CSS. I mentioned this would, you know, slingshot your learning. And what I meant by that is after you learn something, after you learn a new skill and especially coding, you know, if you teach it to somebody else, this will really solidify the knowledge in your own brain, thus helping you, you know, retain more and learn faster. That's all I have for you today, guys. Smash the like button. Thanks for watching the video. Leave me a comment and I'll see you on the next one.